guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is all about the ghost painting i was talking about in the previous video why did i just point over there um all right so yes i'll be creating a ghost painting that i related to a previous movie that came out long ago i still didn't check to see what year it came out but i'll tell you guys at the ending of the video when i release the product and i'll be telling you guys the ways on how i do it probably i may do that but if i don't you guys can just check like watch what i'm doing if you if it's not looking good don't worry it's just it's just art that doesn't really matters what you do and how you do it is as long as you release your stress and you be relaxed on what you do and is basically to relax the, the body like be relaxed to do something so uh, what I do I, I, I will just sit down grab a paper pencil or this is a pen a pen and just have to draw something something crazy and try to make it good but yes enough of that on to the actual steps of making the art piece let's go okay guys so the materials that i'll be using to, to create this painting are my drawing pencils you can see them my canvas well this is two canvas yeah, 11 by 14 size and i'll just be using one of course because it's one painting but after this painting i'll be doing there will be a follow-up painting i don't know exactly what i'm doing for that yet but you guys will know when i post the video and my paint well some people has like liquid paints or paints in tubing i do have the paints in tubing i've got the Art Advantage 12 color paint set. This is two paints and uh, it has the color palettes. <laughs> Upside down. It has the color palettes over there and how to mix each color. But I'll be using this today. I'll be using the, the Uni Pasta paint pens. So it's markers or well, pens filled with acrylic paints inside them. And it's from Japan. And I can't read Japanese, but I've used this before in a previous painting that I did with a koi pond with fishes in it and the leaves. So, at the covers of the pens, they are the colors of it, right? So, actually, this paint pen looks like sky blue or light blue, but technically, it is not. It is the dark blue. The sky blue is actually looks like cyan blue. Due to the fact of the light, the lighting, my ring light, makes it look like that. So this is dark blue and this is light blue. Not cyan blue, not light blue. But the whole pen fills with Japanese writing. And I don't understand that, so I'm not going to get a translator to read it. All you're going to know is at the barcode, it says the color and it says blue. Not dark blue or blue. You won't be able to see it, I think. No, the camera's not focusing. But it's blue. So I'll be using these. Alright. So I've finished with the sketching, the base image for the painting. And let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like this. So, um, I just gotta fill it in a little more to make it pop out. It's kind of faded, a little faded, so I just like darken it a little bit to put the paint on it. But, um, what I would like to say, I did not do this freehand. I'm the type of artist that don't like portraits. Or drawing characters. I don't draw those characters yet. I still have to try those and attempt those. But if you know on TikTok there is this trend going on where you paint characters on glass glasses like glass picture frames 
on glass and they paint it. So what they have to do to get the outline, they have to get a paper, put the glass above the paper and trace it over. So I didn't get a glass or image and print it, shape it over. I got an image and I put it behind, I got this image and put it behind the frame and I got the transfer. So that's what I did. And tracing is good. Tracing is not bad. So even if someone tells you that you trace that, you're not called an artist, it doesn't matter because you traced it and that's all you did. Traced it. You you did the rest. You darken it, you fill in the blanks, you colored it, and you sign it. All you did is just get the base image. So it doesn't matter if you trace or not. It is still good. So, I'm going to be filling it now and I shall speed it up in a time lapse so you guys don't have to see the whole long process. So, I'm going to be trimming and speed up this video starting now. Okay, so I've finished making it darker and deeper. So. Yes, now it just needs to fill in the colors in the diagram. So, the colors that we'll be using in this painting are red, white, black. light green and dark green those are the five colors we are using so firstly before we go to use the pens we have to shake them up because it's been a long while I haven't used these pens and the paint will stick. So you gotta shake it up. And you hit up the balls inside. So you gotta shake it up for the liquid to mix. So I'll be shaking it up and I'll speed up that as well. <laughs> are shaking I'll take the black first to outline the character so here's one more shake right and let's go ahead and outline so I'll start from his head but um, I'm going to be sp speeding up this process as well the coloring I'll be speeding up that as well.
Okay, so now we've got to fill in the whites. So the only part that is white in this image is the figure itself, the character. So here, here, and here is what going to be white. So let's fill it white. So, if you can see, I put two pieces of tape at the corner over here because if you see, if I point it out, the corner is a little small. So, when I use the nib of the paint pen, I don't want it to go over onto the black because the nib of the paint pen is thick, it's medium size, but it's big to go over. I don't want it to go over. So let's just put a little dot at the moment. Okay, so I have to remove the tape now. Now I can continue. <laughs>
So now all I just have to do is fill in the background green and create like a melting kind of effect on the um, green part to make it look like slime. So I'll get onto that but I won't film the whole process of coloring or fast soil because it will take a lot of time. So. I will just transition from where I start to finish and we'll see what goes on from there. So and well it's finished. Ta -da. I mean, ta-da! So here's the painting in the spiral and these stuff over here is slime. So in the show, there are a lot of slime. So the background means that it is a slime in different colors and a spiral and basically he brings out everything because the red and white pops out of the other colors of the green and the dark green etc.